All right, so this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to program the quadratic formula into your TI-83 or TI-84 or TI-89 or whatever calculator. But just so you know, I'm working with an 83 here, and so when I talk about like the exact buttons to push to find certain commands, I'm definitely talking about how to do that on the 83. All right, anyway, um, to make a new program, you're going to hit the program key. And you're going to go over right twice to say create new and what you're going to do then is type in a name for your program I use the name quad but you can use it ever you want as long as it signals to you later that this is the quadratic formula program that you want to use in case you have more than one program on your calculator um, so yeah you type in the name quad um, and you hit enter and then you have this screen, which is just the blank screen asking you for commands. If you've never programmed um, something before, I'm going to try and talk through really um, every step of how to do this. If you are pretty used to programming um, your calculator, well, you probably don't need this video at all. But if you want to skip to the end, I just have the full program there on the, the last screen. Um, anyway, now that you've got this screen, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the program key, again, PRGM, and that's going to bring up uh, a menu where you can choose a bunch of commands. Uh, scroll right one time so you're highlighting the I.O., which stands for Input Output, I believe. And scroll down twice till you get to DISP. And what that's going to do, the DISP command, is one of the ways that you can put up on the screen something that you want your user, which is usually yourself, to see when you run the program. And the first thing you want to do is display the quadratic formula just as a reminder to yourself that what we're doing is we are working with something in this form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero now it's important that you use quotation marks here now, if you don't use quotation marks then you're just gonna get um, well, you're gonna get something you don't want to see because it's gonna try and calculate this instead of displaying the equation as you'd like to see it one other note is Sometimes people have a hard time finding the equals sign. To find the equals sign, you're going to hit the second key and then math. So above math is test, second test, and um, the first thing you'll see is the equal sign. Uh, so ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And that means when you run this thing, the first thing it's going to do is show you uh, a quadratic in the standard form. Now, the next command we're going to want to use is the prompt command. And what prompt does is it asks the user to enter a value that it then stores. Right? So uh, we're going to do prompt A. And so what you do is you select prompt and then you just do alpha A. And then we're going to do this three times because we're going to ask the user to put in the values for A, B, and C. Uh, so prompt A, prompt B, prompt C. And what that's going to do is the user will enter these values, the calculator will store them as A, B, and C so then we can work with them. Now we're going to do another disp and we're just going to say roots with a colon. Uh, that's going to show that once we've entered A, B, and C, the things that the calculator will show you next are the roots. And remember again, you know, with disp roots, you want to use quotation marks so that uh, it doesn't just calculate the value of whatever is in the memory for R, O, O, T, and S multiplied together. Now, you're going to say disp, and now we don't use quotes because we actually want to show now the result of a calculation rather than um, a displayed statement. So, no quotes here with this disp, and you do the negative sign b plus square root um, b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Be very careful with your parentheses here because if you screw up your parentheses, um, the whole program is not going to work, or even worse, it will give you a result, but it won't be the right one, and you'll think you have the right answer when you don't. So make sure your parentheses work such that the entire top of the quadratic formula, negative b plus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, uh, is fully enclosed, and then you also put parentheses around the 2a on the denominator. Uh, one other note is I'm only saying plus here, and we're going to do another line for minus. And that's just because uh, on my calculator there is no plus or minus function. We have to do it in two separate calculations. So negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We do that in two lines. First line is the plus. Second line is the minus. And there we go. Actually, believe it or not, we're done. 
So now you can hit second quit and get back to your home screen. And we're going to run this thing. So hit PRGM again once you're on your home screen. And you'll see this. You can choose execute, edit, or new. If you wanted to edit the program more, you go to edit. But we're going to execute the program. So we're going to execute quad. And so you see this on your home screen. You hit enter. And it runs. It shows you that statement that you asked it to display, ax squared plus bx plus c. And then it asks you for a. And I entered here a 2 because I want to do this. I'm just going to test it out for the quadratic 2x squared plus 4x minus 3 equals 0. So a is 2 in that quadratic, um, b is 4, and c is negative 3. Once I enter that negative 3, uh, the program will show me the roots, 0.5811 and negative 2.5811. And if we want to check and make sure that our program is working right, uh, well, there's a few things we can do, but what I'm going to do is kind of the quick and dirty way, which is I'm just going to graph that parabola, 2x squared plus 4x minus 3, and I'm going to, there's the graph, I'm going to check my zeros and make sure that I get the values I want to get. So there's 0.5811, yada, yada, and there's negative 2.5811, yada, yada. And sure enough, those are the values I got before. So the program worked. Yay. Here's the full program in case you just want to uh, see it all at once when you're copying it into your calculator. Make sure, again, to be very careful with your parentheses. Uh, parentheses are everything with this program. And that's it. That's how you program the quadratic formula into your TI calculator. Hope this was helpful. Uh, see you later.